hi guys uh, this video will show you how to determine the times and heights of all high water and low water tides for a second report uh, of uh, any vitak at all on 16th of october 1997 uh, using extracts from the admiralty tide tables my previous video uh, discussed a general theory on tides if you found that video boring then i don't blame you that's all right but this video will actually show you the calculations that are involved in the determination of the high water and low water tides for second reports so hopefully you should find this video interesting so if you understand one second report you can use the same principles for any second report uh, for any date to make things easier for you, you if you see on the screen on the left hand side of the screen there is a pro forma that you can use to determine the or you can just fill this pro forma as i show you and which will result in the final determination of the times and heights of high water and low waters on the right side of the screen i have actually uh, put the extracts from the admiralty tide tables together so that you can easily refer to it and uh, understand where i am deriving the information to put in the pro forma so I, i'll go slow and hopefully you will understand it if there are any questions you will write in the comment section all right so for those of you who don't know uh, there are standard ports and secondary ports now standard ports are normally the major ports for which the information is provided in the uh, admiralty tide tables and secondary ports are relatively uh, smaller size ports uh, and uh, but uh, the information for the secondary ports is also tabulated in the same way as in the standard ports and the only thing is that if they had included standard and secondary ports all together uh, then the tide tables would have become very thick and very difficult for the mariners used that's why secondary ports are grouped together and referred to a selected standard port with similar tidal characteristics but not necessarily in the same geographical location so thus the tidal information uh, obtained from the standard port needs only to be modified by time and height differences to obtain the tides at the second report as i will show you here all right so let's start with it so we'll start by filling the pro forma on the left hand side of your screen so the first thing i'm going to do is i'll be filling in the high water and low water times and heights of the standard port now in this case the second report is of course any vtac at all and that you see here on your screen uh, the number is 6787 and the information uh, of the second report is provided in front of it and the standard port for this second report is davao uh, the information is provided not only on the top there but also on the bottom of your right hand side of the screen so i will uh, find the extracts for the uh, standard port of davao as you see here these are the details that i will be filling in on the performa on the left hand side so for 16th of october 1997 on the bottom of your right side of the screen is uh, the time and the heights given so let's fill those times and heights in in the performa so i am filling the high water times first which is 0527 as well as 1739 all right they are high waters because so you can see out of the four values uh, those two values are higher than the other two then i'll fill in the low water times of 1127 as well as 2357 all right then let's fill in the heights against these times given so again 0527 you can see the height is 1.8 meters i'll fill that in and accordingly uh, for 1739 it's 2 meters for 11.1127 it's minus 0 0.2 and for 2357 it's minus 0.4 uh, then a very critical part of the tide calculation comes into play now if you see the middle part of your right screen you can see that uh, the extracts from part 2 that's the title of the table you can see the seasonal changes in mean level is provided for in a monthly basis uh, in that same table the first column refers to the number of the uh, second report so our second report number is 6787 so against 6787 will be somewhere between 6766 and 6788 right so if you go uh, horizontally on that row uh, for the month till the month of October, you will see that the seasonal changes in mean level as obtained from the middle table uh, is plus 0 0.1. Right? So that's the seasonal change. So that's the seasonal change we have to fill in the pro forma. Now, whenever you fill in the seasonal change, you first reverse the sign of the seasonal change. And then we'll correct it later on, but first you reverse it. So this here is for the 16th of October because it's the month of October. The seasonal change is plus 0 0.1 
for any weight type at all number 6787 i will write i will reverse the sign in the performer and i will write it as minus 0.1 for both high water and as well as for low water right and then what i'll do is i'll go into the uh, top column again that is the sorry the top uh, tables again that is extracts from part 2 and you can see for any weight type at all you will see the time difference is given against it so that's the third column so you can see the first column is lat second column is longitude and the third column is the time differences given for mean high water and mean low water and those time differences are minus 0.128 and minus 0.129 so those are the time differences i will write in the um, pro forma next this is from the topmost table all right then i go back and i start uh, subtracting minus 0.1 from the heights of the high water and low water heights all right so 1.8 minus 0.1 in the pro forma is 1.7 then 2 minus 0.1 is 1.9 minus 2 minus 0.1 is minus 3 and minus 0.4 minus 0.1 is minus 0.5 all right so these are the heights at the standard port corrected to the seasonal change that is provided in a monthly basis all right the next thing we'll do is we'll have to find out the height differences from interpolation all right so that's the next thing so how do we do that so for to do that we have to again see the topmost table uh, extracts from part two uh, marshall to palau islands that's the table the topmost table that is given and you can see there against each of the standard against the standard port on the top davao there are certain height differences given for mean high water springs, mean high water nips, mean low water nips, and mean low water spring. MHWS, MHWN, MLWN, and MLWS. You see the heights given are 1.6, 1, 0 0.5, and minus 0 0.2. Uh, and if you refer to the secondary port again uh, under those columns, uh, you also see some heights given there as minus 0 0.3, minus 0 0.1, plus 0 0.1, and plus 0 0.4. Yes, so those will help us to interpolate as you will see in the proforma so in the proforma first write down these values so write down 1.6 uh, and against 1.6 is minus 0 0.3 then write down 1 this is for mean high water nib and against 1 is minus 0 0.1 and similarly for the uh, mean low water nibs and mean low water springs write down 0 0.5 uh, minus 0 0.2 and then the corresponding heights of the secondary port as plus 0 0.1 and plus 0 0.4 all right now uh, what this tells you is basically that if for a height of uh, or for a value of 1.6 if the value is minus 0 0.3 in the height difference for secondary port is minus 0 0.3 then uh, you need uh, the interpolated value of height difference for height of 1.7 so for 1.7 then it will be about minus 0 0.3 because it is very close to 1.6 Alright, similarly, if for 1.6 is zero, minus 0 0.3, then how much will it be for 1.9? Well, it will be slightly more than 1.6 if you can interpolate it, and that's why it will be about minus 0 0.4. Alright, so that is minus 0 0.4. And then uh, you do a similar thing for the low water. So for low water, if you are uh, for 0 0.5, it's 0 0.1, and for minus 0 0.2, it's 0 0.4, then for minus 0 0.3, it will be somewhere closer to the one that you have for minus 0 0.2 so it will be 0 0.4 and for minus 0 0.5 it will be somewhat more than 0 0.4 it will be about 0 0.5 only so that's how we have interpolated it so looking at the bottom columns you interpolate for what you need for the heights at the standard ports all right once you get those heights all you have to do is now apply those corrections so 1.7 minus 0 0.3 will give you 1.4 uh, 1.9 minus 0 0.4 will give you 1.5 minus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4 will give you plus 0 0.1 and minus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 will give you a zero all right so once you have done that then you should apply the seasonal change back and this time with the uh, correct sign so because the seasonal change we applied earlier where we had reversed the sign from plus 0 0.1 to minus 0 0.1 this time we'll reverse it back all right so we'll put the original seasonal change back as plus 0 0.1 and plus 0 0.1 that we got from the middle table and now we are ready to find out the height and times of the secondary port uh, but
but to find the time we have to first uh, subtract the times uh, as you see here 0527 will be subtracted uh, so 010527 uh, will be subtracted with 0128 so 0527 minus 0128 will give you 0359 similarly 1739 minus 0128 will give you 1611 and uh, the same thing you have to do for low water as well. So 1127 minus 0129 is 0958 and 2357 minus 0129 is 22229. So these are the times of the high water and low water heights at the second report. All right. And then all you have to do is basically apply the seasonal change now to the heights at the second reports and find the final values of the uh, height of tides at the second report. So 1.4 plus 0.1 is 1.5. 1.5 plus 0.1 is 1.6 and 0.1 plus 0.1 is 0.2 and 0 plus 0.1 is 0.1. All right. So that's how you calculate the height and times of the tides for second reports using the standard port as a reference. So I hope you understood uh, how I got these values. If there is any doubt regarding any part of this calculation, write in the comment section and I'll try to explain it. Uh, my advice to you would be uh, pause the screen and look at the values carefully and see how I have got these values and you will be able to understand um, how to put in the values here. Alright, just have a careful look, have a slow look and see the underlined portions and these are the places from where I got the values. So if there is any problem, just look at those underlined portions and you will be able to find out how I got these values. Use the proforma and it will be easy for you to solve the calculations. So I hope uh, this was a useful video. Uh, let me know through your feedback what you thought about this video uh, and thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching my videos really appreciate it i'll see you soon with my next video bye guys and all the best with your studies